Hey, what's happening everybody? Real quick, I'm going to show you how to adjust your sound settings in your Apple Music on your iPhone 15 Pro. First thing you wanna do, come over here to settings, scroll down to your Apple Music, which is right there. All right, so you have all these settings, scroll down or up until you see this right there. All right, this is your audio settings. You have your Dolby Atmos, now you have the option to set it to automatic, always on or off. I recommend leave it on always on. It's not gonna hurt anything. It's not gonna affect your battery, none of that. Next thing, your audio quality. This is a very important one. Now, this is a 256 gigabyte iPhone 15 Pro. I use both YouTube Music and Apple Music just because I do. And uh, here's the deal. So as far as your lossless audio is concerned, I recommend you turn it on especially if you have 256 gigabytes of space on your phone, it's not really going to use that much. All right, next, you come over here. Cellular streaming, you have this option right here. For cellular, I use high quality. I don't use lossless, because if you, if you choose lossless and you're like in a lower cellular connectivity area, you're gonna have like some buffering issues, so I don't recommend you do that. Next, you got your 5G and Wi-Fi streaming. I have that set to, lo to lossless because if you're on Wi-Fi or if you have 5G, that shouldn't be an issue at all. Next up, downloads. This is an important one. So typically, I only download music over Wi-Fi. And as far as lossless goes, it's gonna take up some more space. And you can see right here, lossless files will significantly use more space on your device. So 10 gigabytes of space could store approximately. So you see what's going on here. So yeah, so choose accordingly. But like I said, I got 256 gigabytes, so I'm not really worried about it. And I like for my sound to sound really well. I like high quality audio, uh, so on and so forth. So that's a very, very important thing to, uh, to consider right there. Another thing that you wanna look at right here, you got your audio quality. We talked about that. <laughs> Do you want to go over here to your EQ? And I use the the increased bass. I listen to like hip hop music and heavy metal music. And I just, I personally like that. But you have all these you can choose right here. So pick accordingly. Or if you just want to just keep it kind of simple, choose you can choose rock, pop, R&B, so on and so forth. All right, let's move on. All right, next, what you want to, what you want to mess with is, well, you can either activate your crossfade, your sound check, I don't know. I really don't know what those do. I never mess with them. <laughs> Crossfade is unavailable while using AirPlay. So that's something to, to think about. So yeah. So anyway, these are the, the ones I just discussed were the, uh, the most important ones. But you have other settings here inside of your Apple Music that you can look into. And as for me, my downloaded music, I got 9.4 gigabytes of downloaded music. So lossless really isn't taking up that much space. But remember, I got 256 gigabytes. So anyway, all right, everybody. Take care.